Hello everybody, my name is Stally111 and welcome to the vanishing of Ethan Carter. I was planning to do this game uh, about a month ago, but I never got around to it. So let's just jump into the start a new game. So this is going to be my first impressions. I'm going to do this, uh, a 20 minute video or something, showing the tw first 20 minutes of the game. And if it gets like 15, 20 likes, I will continue on with another part continue on with another part and um, so on but uh, if like it gets a few views yeah sure why not um, and if I enjoy it loads I will uh, if I enjoy it loads I'll certainly play on but it uh, seems to be having a problem loading up right now but uh, it's just something I'm going to be doing because it takes so long now with my computer. It's getting slow now. It's getting old. My internet's horrible, so it's just so the game is a narrative experience. It does not hold your hand. Yeah, I know it's a detective game, but yeah, it's just so slow my internet. So I'm going to be trying to do first impressions, first twenty minutes. If you guys Carter, enjoy it. I didn't know, but he knew who I was. And, and the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you. You call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If okay. you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Right, so it's a very beautiful game, I've got to say. And looking at some pictures on the screenshots on Steam, I was thinking, oh no, this is going to be a, a point and click game. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a scary game, but I think it might be. But yeah, so my internet's pretty bad, so I'm going to be just doing like the first impressions, the first part of a video, and see if people actually enjoy it, if it's actually worthwhile continuing on. So, don't know if it's a horror, It's it might be like, the I think it's Evil Within, it's quite a detective-y like, game, as well as horror. Not interested in sure, but this is definitely a detective game. So, uh, it, yeah, it's very, very beautiful. I've got to say, I've got to give it that. Place for... Oh, we can actually sprint. I was going to say, place fairly slowly. Bridge closed. Do not enter. So there's some textures that... Eh, Rain oh, Creek Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. That doesn't sound good. I don't know if he's mean like this is the last one and he dies at the end. Spoiler alert if it if it actually happens. Um but I'll be spoiling myself. But it might be his retirement or I don't know. Maybe this is just all a nightmare. You never know what the twist is gonna be. I mean that's why they call it a twist. There's a nice wee dam over there. So I'll look at this, see if there's any clues to the vanishing of him. Right, so we know from this that the blood is on, I don't know what to call it, train pool, you know, the, you know the, this like thing on the track, I, I don't know what actually to call it, is that a tug? It's one of his olden days he used them to pull along carriages. Anyway, it's not, the blood's on this, but it's not on this, on the, the floor, so it hasn't happened here, the death. Or whatever. Could enter. A little peek inside. Let's exit. 
and we might do that after we look we inspect here so blood animal human so this is actually bringing up more questions than it answers but it helps us a little bit on where to go crack so we need to fall like this is a, the ability the character has so it just clues in on the crank which is over that direction let's enter and see if we can actually move it yeah let's get out this doesn't feel safe sadly we couldn't go around for a wee joyride let's go down past the just down at the dam and uh, see what we can see. So this game did come out in the 26th or something of, uh, no I think it was actually the 28th on, in the UK at least, of September and I got it about a month ago from today and I was thinking of playing it but then I looked at some screenshots and I was like, don't know, yeah I'm not touching that because you know what happened before. Oh, we've got some blood down here. Right. Nice. Let's follow the blood. Typical. What's this over here? Let's walk over the blood. Under construction. So the crank is down by the water, I think. It's down over here. But, uh... I'm not exactly the smartest of people, but hopefully I can figure things out fast enough for you guys before you get bored. And maybe you, could, maybe I could do this in a stream and you guys can help me out or something. If you guys really want, tell me down in the comments if you want that. So the crank is around here. Don't know where, but it's beside the river I don't know if that, that that's a lake because it's freaking dam isn't it it's a little delayed with the the flick don't know if that's just the feature of the game but uh it is a beautiful game I've got I've got to give them that graphically it is a good first impressions this is blocked off and this may be the, the haulage that that uh, tug or whatever it's called was uh, hauling along. The music, it sounds like it is going to be a horror game because that's a bit of an organ at the start and it's going on something else. It's very eerie. But I don't, I don't know, I don't like it. And I, don't, I hate horror games. Some of you may have seen some like games I've played. I hate jump scares. I think a lot of people do, but I seriously, it's I can't stand them. Don't know if we should follow the tracks or no. We can't. Oh, that's bad. There's an invisible wall there. We could go faster. I forgot about that. Can we jump? No, we can't jump. Right, the music has calmed down. Now that is... The, I thought the game, my computer was crashing there. <laughs> that is a beautiful sight. I think I'm going to take a wee screenshot of that. And I'm not allowed to. According to, Ste uh, according to Steam. So I'm going to stop the recording for a second. Well, I couldn't actually take a screenshot because F12 wasn't working for some reason. Function 12 wasn't working uh, with Steam. So let's just continue on down the track, down the railway track. It's certainly... I saw a red flash up there. Don't know if someone is following us. Maybe it's just texture or something? But um, the music is calming now. It isn't eerie, but it's changing. I don't like that. 
Hopefully it goes in. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Yeah, I don't like dark things. Do not like dark things. Let's start running. I don't know why they would add a sprint feature for a detective game unless it was you were running from something. So I don't like this. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep on reiterating that a lot. And we're getting a lower frame rate since I stopped and restarted. Is that... That's a bridge, isn't it? That's the train bridge that we came over. Yeah. There's some houses. Some settlement. We didn't find that um, crank. We'll go back for that if uh, we have time. But I want to I wanna investigate this house. Or these houses. I saw another red flash. Is that just me, guys? Am I just going crazy? <laughs> but that is... That's worrying. Oh, we're on this dam. I don't have a clue where we are. I think it's a completely made up place. We run across the bridge. Oh, sorry, the dam. Jesus, that's a nice house. Quite big. Keeps on um, freezing up the frames when we sprint a little bit. I gotta say this would be pretty fun in an Oculus Rip, ripped, <laughs> rift, um, because it, it feels quite immersive. It does. If you had surround sound headphones, like proper headphones and Oculus Rift, it would be the beast. And I saw it again. I saw a red light over there. I saw another one up there. <laughs> it just turns out the snipers with lasers hunting us. Yeah, that'd be a cool twist. Alright, let's see what's up happening in this house. Try and find Ethan Carter. Read. I don't want to read that. I can't even bloody read that. It's too fancy for me. Right, let's zoom. I invoke the boneless one, the one of vides. Vo <laughs> vides. Jesus. <laughs> Voids. Destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the worlds. He you know, wins. Jesus, I can't even read. Hear me, great minister. Vocalor? Maybe J, wish to make a pact with you to confer. Who even? Is yeah, Ethan Carter. Never mind. Confirmed by my, uh, confirm my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusions. Does that make sense? Doors of confusion. Jesus, uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> to cloud their judgment, seal the path. With falsity and guile, and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Right, I should put it. Okay. Oh, oh, what's happened here? A secret room? Maybe? Possibly? Magic. Um. Oh! Whoa! This is a crate. Oh, we're at the front door. 
This is a crazy household, right? Crazy indeed. Ethan! Ethan Carter! You alive? Come out, come out, wherever you are. If you're in the house, we need you. I'm a detective guy. Can't remember my name. But I, I assure you, it's probably something completely stupid. Or made up. Or something. Hmm. Well, let's continue on to the next house. I was getting goosebumps there. Just to say, I was getting goosebumps in that house because I was expecting a jump scare or something. The genre... I keep on seeing it. It must be the textures or we are getting hunted by snipers. Red and then I saw a white dot there. Or white light. There it is again! Show yourself, sniper! Show yourself. And I saw one up there. And a white one there. I'm definitely dead. I'm, I'm assured that there's about 15 snipers on me. Right. What's this? read. I don't like that. Oh. On the day the photo was taken, Uncle Chad was mean. Dad was sad. Mum was mad. Travis was loud. And Grant was quiet. I don't like, I don't like that sound. Alright, that's just the same. Tense audio. Was there a fire or something? What did you do? Uh, Why did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room, I walked into it, that's it. Jesus. Guys, I... As soon as that audio went on, my whole body, like my legs, my arms, goosebumps just popped up everywhere. I don't like this. You can feel it, right? Oh, cr for goodness sake! Something, uh, Stop talking! Something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. He must be punished. Eh. Uh, the. Okay, so his parents or his family just murder him or punish him. That's not very nice. He's your son or family. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. I hope it's not. This is starting to become a scary game. Like, the genre has gone from adventure, detective, to horror. Quite rapidly. I don't want to meet the sleeper, so yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not, not my, my fault. fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Can I not read the book? He might have wrote it, and he's my biggest fan, or so-called biggest fan. Sorry, I, I, I'm not talking there, it's just I hear things. I, I know that sounds crazy, but like, I'm hearing extra footsteps. I think, anyway, it might just be a, a, a tiny echo. Maybe you I have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. 
maybe I was right when I when I first thought that this game was a supposed scary game. Right. Yeah, it's got to be textures or something because that was up in the trees and I doubt they're going to be the snipers are going to be sitting in the tree for me. Or is it the sleeper? The sleeper is waiting for me in the tree. Jeez, oh. I don't know where to go. I should probably go back for that crank. But. Because I don't actually have any other clues. Apart from that crank. Which we didn't actually get. We just know the general direction of. It was certainly right. In saying at the very start that this game does not lead you. It bloody well does not. We can get into that little hut or house. I wonder if we can swim. Hey, detective. Can you, no, yeah. Be invisible walls and it's not going to let me go on. I don't see why on earth, apart from making the game shorter by making it, you know, able to walk around more, you would add a sprint feature for a detective game. It's, it's very I've stepped through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. Well, it is a very pretty game. And I've got to say, so far, I'm not sure if I want to play on because in that house, in houses, I do feel claustrophobic in, in games that have the sound is phenomenal. Unless it's actually like not trying to make me scared <laughs> or be aware of my surroundings because it is definitely making me more vigilant, keeping my eye out the corner of the screen just for any movement and I'm, my senses are going crazy like I'm trying to listen out for any movement or any noise and I think that's what the game makers are trying to do and this is it's classed as adventure and it is pretty adventurous I think, I don't know if someone's already tried to make this into a reality or someone's already doing this, but I think the game makers are this, or Microsoft need to get the, the um, creators of the, the, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter, get this world or get this style and make Minecraft 2.0 like this. <gasps> Ooh, a mystery. What could be in here? We shall try and get in there sometime. Yeah, it's probably gonna like this is gonna be overworld happy, happy chappy moment in the overworld. And we're supposed to later on go down in there, and it's like mines and stuff, and banning mine shafts, and then the sleeper's gonna be after us, and we've gotta find Ethan Carter before the sleeper gets us, and then the sleeper gets us, and then we cry and die and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's just what uh, I, I'm guessing if it's supposed to be a, a scary game. It doesn't classify as horror in, on Steam, so I'm confused, right? I say thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you have done so already. My name is Stanley111. If you want to see more of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, you want to tell your friends, you want to get them all to like this video, get it up to 15 plus at least, or get them to view it a bazillion times. Um, I'll probably continue on if we get like... 15 plus likes or maybe like 700 views or something like that just because I want to actually get something that people enjoy I want to continue and see if I'm actually not wasting my time because um, some of my videos I've been putting on a lot of time like full days and no views like 
20 30 views i'm sorry but it's just not worth my time so thank you very much for watching i've had a little bit of fun um and i've still got to edit it and wait for the uploads time and the rendering time but yeah you guys make it worth it thanks see ya